Hi guys, it's Paige, and I'm uh, back with another unboxing video. I know this is like super soon, but yeah, I, I said earlier in my previous video that I was going to probably do an unboxing for the Luna XX album because I have all of them, and well, here they are. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to go in depth with the images, the, the pictures that are in the photo book. And um, so what I'm probably going to be doing is I'm actually going to be looking through the pictures in the limited A and then the limited B. And for uh, the regular A and B, I'll just be showing you the photo cards. And um, yeah, I actually have all of the posters for all of these. Um, I have a not a really long story but I, I guess like a kind of entertaining slash stressful one about how I managed to get all of these albums as I'm sure like every Orbit has some sort of crazy story but yeah uh, we'll just get right into it so a really quick thing I wanted to do right before we uh, open my copy is actually kind of give you a really small comparison to um, their previous albums um, I know that like the setups are pretty much exactly the same and I was actually <clears throat> a little bit disappointed when they decided to do that. Uh, I was hoping for a new packaging because I was looking at uh, some other groups and they had some really fancy stuff going on. But um, there was also a part of me that was like, oh I really hope that they keep the same aesthetic because they have it for all of their albums. Um, but I don't know, maybe they'll decide to do it in um, a future a future release, like maybe for the one that they were teasing for a couple weeks ago. Um, so, you know, there's always hope for that in the future. And I think that it was a bit of a blessing that it wasn't a completely different packaging, because maybe uh, distribution would have been a little bit more messed up, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Either way, so a really brief comparison to uh, Plus Plus. I think this is the limited B version. So if I put them together like this, you can already tell that it's a lot thicker. So the photo book is larger. I think maybe probably like 30% more or something like that. If you look overhead, it also becomes pretty obvious that there's a difference in the photo book sizes so it was nice that we got something extra for XX or I know that it's multiply but multiply multiply but I'm just so used to saying XX at this point so yeah so I'm gonna open this one up and I'll show you inside really beautiful here I'm assuming I'm, I'm not sure I don't think that this is actually any of the Luna girls I think it might have been one of the actors that they got for the music video and the previews for Butterfly but this is so nice and I was always like curious as to whether or not this is photoshopped or if they like attached some clear wiring or something to make it so fluffy but it's really nice to look at and then here's the CD I don't know if anybody else gets the urge to just do this anytime the CD is off at a weird angle. I just have to correct it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that the previews for each of the versions before they released the, the covers was actually just the CD on the inside. So the first is a group photo. It's actually really similar to the regular A picture, which would make sense because this would probably be right after you looking at the regular A cover. So I always thought that this was a little bit of an awkward pose for Heejin because of how like she's standing just with her arms kind of stuck to her sides. But then in contrast, this picture is such a look. It just accentuates the three quarters profile of her so well. So this is such a great photo. And next is Hyunjin. She's so cute and I'm, it's kind of funny to me because she has the exact same expression in both of these. 
So basically, I kind of want to tell you briefly about how I ended up getting these albums. I was like 100% sure that I was going to be able to get them from a local Korean bookstore here in um, New York City. Um, I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's called Choreo Books. And I was just expecting, oh, well, let me say this really quickly. From a glance, this picture of Yojin almost looks like Eve. It's so, I was talking previously in my Lunaverse merch video that Yojin has like grown up so much and you can totally see it in these pictures. I think she's pretty happy with like a more mature concept too. And I think all of them are in general. So it's, it's really nice to kind of see them thrive on this concept. So with Choreo Books, um, I thought that they were going to get it. It wasn't going to be a problem. And then um, we started hearing all those reports about cacao and what was going on. So I got really nervous. And I ended up, ended up like calling them at every expected date that they were supposed to be releasing it. And then they ended up saying, oh yeah, we totally have them but they're not on the shelves yet. If you really, really want them that badly, you can come down and get them. So I ran all the way down. Well, I mean, I took a subway, but basically I ran all the way down to um, Choreo Books and I ended up buying uh, the limited versions right away. And it was really funny because there was already like two or three other people lining up to get it. Sorry, I got interrupted by a doorbell. Uh, yeah, people like to ring the doorbell here even though they don't know you because they just want to get into the building, like friends who just don't have keys or something like that. But I, I got interrupted in the middle of me talking about how I got the albums. But either way, I got um, the limited A and B albums right away and I was joking to the clerk about how like, oh yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna come back for the regular version soon and he just kind of laughed at me and he said well we don't have a big amount and these are really popular so they're gonna be gone in probably like one or two weeks and that really stressed me out um, so I I gave in don't don't do this kids like kids at home don't do this but I, I got really stressed I gave in and I just decided to go back a couple days later and I bought the regular albums, but that's how I ended up getting all of them. Um, I really like how they always have like a split between two different concepts within um, a single photo book for an album and then they always do like another cover just to kind of let you know, hey, we're changing up things now. So this is, this is so beautiful. I think like be besides the cover of Limited A, like, this is probably the reason why Limited A is so coveted by everybody. I know that Regular A also has the same pictures, but, like, everybody wants to kind of see this really beautiful rainbow that matches the cover. So, yeah, it wasn't, like, a, a crate, the most crazy story of trying to get the albums ever, but I was major stressed as I kept hearing the reports about how like oh like not even all the pre-orders will be fulfilled oh like their cacao's not gonna be doing any more of them again and I just like had no idea what I was gonna do if that was the case because eBay was already ramping up their prices Amazon was I already saw people like desperate asking on different Facebook buying groups whether or not um, somebody had like a copy that they could, you know, spare. I, I, don't, I just have to stop because I really am interested in the gradient for Chari's photo here. Because if you can see in these previous photos, like, none of them have, like, none of them have nearly have the same amount of gradient going on. So I almost feel like this has to be symbolic in a way because um, if you recall, the lyrics for Colors, um, Chori and Hyunjin are connected as a lot of people speculated even before XX and Plus Plus. So the fact that the gradient very clearly goes from purple to yellow, it like, in my opinion, signifies something, but I don't know if you know, the photographer was just having fun or something like that, the photo editor. And, 
Yes. Eve. So this is something a little bit interesting. If you can see at the edge here, um, none of the other girls have it up until this point, and it kind of looks like the photo's on fire. And people were thinking that maybe this is like a hint in in regards to the next Luna concept burn, because it seems like it's going to be related to Olivia and a lot of Olivia's solo. Um, music video was about burning everything too so the next one this one is Chu of course and see she also has the little burning edge thing going on in her photo um, but other than Eve and Chu nobody else has the same sort of stylized burning and nobody else has that weird purple yellow gradient that um, Cherry has. So like Go On has a little bit of yellow here at the bottom, but not like nearly the same purple. And I don't know if this is significant that she kind of has like a rainbow here going on. But of course, this is Princess Go On's era. Um, I still am like amazed with the way that they lift her up in the butterfly choreography. It's just amazing. She totally deserves it. All right, and this is Olivia. So after this is, oh, I see, yeah, unit, unit photos. I totally forgot about these. It's so funny because looking at these and looking at the Luna TV um, videos of them doing this photo shoot, I'm just going to ignore that. That was the doorbell again. Um, it's, it's almost like they're posing for family photos. So it makes me so sad that Yojin's alone, but yeah, I know that she's not in a unit. And there's Odd Eye Circle, and then Y, Y, by Y, and they have this really pretty, almost Aurora Borealis color going on. Okay, next page is the lyrics, and I've hidden my card here. Unfortunately, I know all of my cards already because I was really impatient and I opened them all up. But yeah, let me go ahead and reveal them to you. So, I got, I think this is the shorties unit. Based on Luna TV, I got all the, the short girls, and it's so cute. I mean, I was going to be satisfied with either one, either card that I got for the limited A cards. I mean, obviously, I love Olivia, and she's my favorite, so if anybody wanted to trade for the, the one that has Olivia on it, I would totally be up for it, but I was also very satisfied with this. I mean, it kind of helps that all the girls are great. So, when it comes to group photos, you're never disappointed. And here is the really beautiful lyrics. Okay, um, next is Limited B. I'm gonna just show you close up. It's kind of funny because Although this isn't like real wood, it's my coffee table that I'm filming all of this on because it has, I guess, the nicest texture to, to film on. But um, the herringbone wood style in the back almost matches it in color. But yeah, this is the cover. It's so beautiful because it all looks like they're kind of sleeping right before, like in a cocoon before they, before they just become butterflies. So the thing I really like about this cover is that as soon as you open this, you get them all awake or with their eyes open. And it's just really striking to me. When I first saw this, I, when I first saw this, I like really enjoyed it. And this is a CD. This is the all black one. Um, yeah, nothing really special. I'll show you the other, the two other CDs as well, um, really quickly, and I'll also look at the covers in depth of the regular versions before I move on, but yeah, this is a limited B CD. So I found it kind of interesting that, um, the concepts for um, a lot of the albums besides the limited A album weren't really as colorful as I expected. 
corkscrew picture next to the piano it just makes me think of I think it was Chari in Luna TV and she was um, playing the Harry Potter theme and she kind of messes up a note it was so cute I think this is the same piano so this was one of the promo photos I remember I know that some of some of these were the promo photos, which makes me, I don't know, mixed feelings. I'm kind of half happy that I also get like my own copy of the promo photos, but I also think to myself, oh, that's one less like fresh or new photo of the girls, if that makes any sense. I didn't ever really realize Hustle, the texture on Hustle's um, black clothing here with the with the stripes, the stripes of lace. Yeah, so. I don't know, I'm really happy with these albums. Um, I only really started collecting in seriousness uh, when the Plus Plus album came out. Oh, Neojin's single bun. It was really cute because in Plus Plus she was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep adding buns, so the next one's five. But. Clearly she's just scaled down to one and that's great for her like more mature look anyways. So I started collecting in the Plus Plus era. I only got the limited albums. I don't know whether or not I want to get the regulars. Oh, this is interesting. I totally didn't notice this in the A photo book. I, I'm going to have to check back to see if this also exists in the A photo book. But yeah, I had only really gotten both versions of Olivia solo, the Olivia only and the Olivia and Go Wan album. And I got the Plus Plus album, I got the YY by Y limited, but I, I started collecting really late and I'm like struggling now. I'm paying not like a crazy amount of money, I'm trying to pay as reasonable as possible for the out of print albums, but it's still a struggle and I don't know if I'm ever going to end up getting the limited unit albums because the only one I have is YYYY and like regular Max and Max is already crazy. I got lucky. Choreo had one copy left so I ended up buying that and that's kind of what cemented my confidence in Choreo that they were going to end up getting the XX limited albums regardless. Um, so yeah, I'm really satisfied that I was able to get them. I kind of like how I think the unit the unit pictures are dispersed like that. Let me check. Yeah, they kind of do like a little mini unit thing throughout this photo book, which is quite, I think, kind of different from limited A or regular A, like both A's. She was just peeking through here, so I thought I might zoom in so you can see her a little bit better. It's kind of funny that they're all holding the same artificial flower, but I'm not complaining. All right, so here's the shorties unit, and here's the talls unit, and then here's like the signifier for the second part of the photo book. And so, yeah, I guess it's like black outfit, white outfit thing going on here. I also remember how hard we were theorizing about what their clothing meant in the promo photos. And everybody was like, oh my god, it's a chessboard. And depending on how many slits are in their shoulders or see like right here on their collarbone, that's what it means, what their station is. And it all didn't mean anything because the storyline for Multiply Multiply was mostly just the idea of evolution and expansion and inclusion of all women of color, which is amazing. But I also remember stuff like with the corset, like, oh, what does it mean that one member is wearing the corset and one isn't? And like, that never came to be. That didn't mean anything. <laughs> I'm still waiting for it to mean something. This looks really similar to the beginning of... I don't know if you guys do this. I do kind of like a little I spy thing all the time. 
yeah so it's just slightly different and this one's just slightly different too it's kind of funny you can see Olivia's head tilting the opposite direction but yeah I do I spy things like this all the time I'm always like oh my god how similar or how different is the photo really why does it feel like deja vu I'm sorry if the lighting is not the most fantastic. I am just using regular old uh, New York springtime sunlight to film this because there was a lot of glare when I tried to use the overhead light. So I apologize if it feels a little bit dim. I really hope that it turns out okay. And yeah, here's the lyrics. I, I noticed I noticed this just now, but it seems like if I'm correct, I'm just gonna keep going. I sound crazy right now, I know. I feel like oh, it's the last page. I thought that maybe the pages were gradually getting more and more gray, which would be interesting and a little bit creepy. But it's just the last page. The last page is gray. And here's the photo card. Flip it over. And for the limited B cards, I know it was like two pairs. So there's a, an option of getting two girls. And I got first and last. Yeah, Olivia came home. And of course, no one can complain about getting Heejin. Um, everybody was talking about how, yeah, the pairings are like kind of corresponding to how they uh, sort of line up in the way that they sing on colors, which totally makes sense. So here's the limited A, if I remember correctly. I kind of like how they have like different versions, but it makes displaying a little bit difficult when you know, three of them are vertical and one of them's horizontal. I'll kind of zoom in a bit closer. So one thing that I noticed from this picture that was really kind of unique is that Go On and Olivia are holding hands. And I know that um, in the storyline, they're linked. They're linked the closest. If you look at the YY by Y symbol um, and all of that stuff, and also the way that Go On kind of looks back for Olivia in the Love Forever music video while Eve and Chu kind of move on. But I'm not too sure if this was just them being <laughs> quote unquote gal pals. No, but like it's been shown in in, uh, in shows and segments and stuff like that that they've gotten really close, which is really cute. And yeah, I was just so happy when I was like, ah, look their little hands. I was just screaming inside a little bit. Okay, so I'll show you what the front cover looks like. So yeah, not the same as Limited A, but I know that all of the covers are always different for the different versions. And here is the regular A CD. Like I said, it's exactly the same as the promo pictures. And I think I have my card right at the front, so I'm not gonna reveal it. So yeah, when it comes to the regular albums, um, the cards are singles. And like I said before, I know already all my cards, but I just wanna reveal it to you guys. I got Hyunjin. I got the kitty. She's been so silly this era. I've been really enjoying it. Yeah, just a really nice photo of her. It looks pretty familiar to the photo shoot photos. That's it for regular A.
Okay, so here's regular B. So this is the last of the Multiply Multiply or the XX albums. Um, I remember this co cover was kind of polarizing because I know that some people really liked it, some people didn't. Some people were wishing that Limited B was a bit more colorful, like Limited A. And that's kind of like one of the reasons why Limited A is so, I guess, sought after, even right now. But... Yeah, it seems like they definitely went for a more muted, mature look overall. So, obviously really similar photo, but kind of different expressions. It's not nearly as striking of a change as limited B's. I mean, I know that regular A also did this. And yeah, the, the, B, the B CDs aren't really special at all. It's just... It's just white. I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, I think like this one, I also have the card in the front. So I'm going to hide it. And like regular A, this is a limited picture. No, not sorry, not a limited picture, a single picture for just a single girl, one girl. And, um, Regular A had black clothes and regular B has white clothes, so I'm going to reveal it. And yeah, <laughs> I got double Hyunjin's, um, which, you know what, whatever. I, I mean, if you guys watched my Lunaverse merch uh, video, I also got double Hyunjin's for the illustrating photos. So I mean, I guess it's just the Hyunjin era for me. I'm just going to be linked to her inexplicably. and. Yeah, these are these are my uh, card pulls. That's what I got. So I'm gonna cut for a little bit so that I can go ahead and get my posters, and I'll show them to you. All right, I'm back with the posters. It's kind of hard for me to show you the whole thing just because it's so big. But yeah. Um, I managed to get all the poster bonuses, which was really great, and I've kind of had them just sitting on my bedroom floor, uh, slowly uncurling, so that I can put them up on my wall later. I currently have uh, both of the, uh, oops, I hit, I hit my stand. I have both of the not, not colorful posters up on my wall currently from Plus Plus. Um, yeah, this isn't a really great way to look at it, so I'm going to set it back down. Um, I have both of the not colorful pictures on Plus, from Plus Plus, and I think I'm going to be removing just the one where they're all uh, sitting and posing, and I'm going to keep the one with the giant moon in the background, and I'm going to post uh, two of these in. I'm going to roll up and keep the other, because I live in a one-bedroom apartment, and literally my walls are completely filled with art prints and posters, and it's been getting to be a lot, and even if I want to put them all up together, I can't. So, yeah, as you can tell, it's these posters aren't similar to the Plus Plus era or any of the other previous eras in that, yes, they're just exact copies of the album, which made me a little bit disappointed. So this is the limited A. I was kind of hoping that there would be a little bit more variety, and I don't know why that didn't end up happening. So the really funny thing that actually happened uh, when it came to these posters, though, when I was getting them from Choreo, was um, the lady was rushing because there was a, not like a huge line, but there was a line of us that were there specifically to, to get posters and, and albums. So she was rolling up them really fast, and I ended up getting the limited A and the regular A poster. And, like, at first I wasn't butthurt about it, just because um, I got two posters. It wasn't like I was jacked one or something like that. So I wasn't thinking I was going to do much about, about it until I ended up going back and getting um, the regulars. So yeah, sorry about that. They have been laying on my bedroom floor and I am someone with longer hair, so it's inevitable. 
Yeah, and he, the interesting thing about this is that the regular B poster looks so nice in comparison to the cover. And I think it's because it's cropped off and it doesn't give nearly the amount of perspective that you need to enjoy the full photo. So if you look at it this way, the perspective is really, really nice. Um, but you don't really see that on the cover, which is just really too bad for them. And yeah. So this one's slightly different. It is very similar to the Limited B cover. But um, it's the inside. It's the one with all of their eyes open. And yeah, I'm currently debating on whether or not I want the limited B or the regular B to be the one that's on my wall. Um, just because I don't have enough space. But yeah, this is it. Uh, this was my Multiply Multiply album unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If any of you want to reach out and do trades with the cards, I'm totally open. You can totally contact me and I'll put my info in the little info box like usual. You might have seen in the previous video, I only really interact on Twitter or on Discord. You didn't get that wrong. Like, I do have an Instagram, I do have a Snapchat, I do have a Facebook, I have blah 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 blah, but I like don't use those. Um, Twitter and Discord are the most efficient to contact me. And yeah, I am also, um, exciting news, I managed to get into a group order for the Everglow uh, Complete Signed album for, um, I think it was M-Wave. And so I'll probably be doing a first-hand unboxing where I don't don't see anything. I'll be like taking off the, the shrink wrap and everything there. So that will be very, very exciting. I don't really have a bias yet, so I don't really care about what items I get in it. But it will be really fun to look at that together. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.